Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Josh Winkler, head of technology at Blink. Thank you for joining us, Josh. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And Blink is a company that has been uh, keeping people charged up with their electronic, with their electric vehicles uh, for some time now. One of the largest owner operators of EV charging stations in the U.S. And uh, you want to give us a little more background before we get to today's news? Sure. So Blink is a definitely a national uh, provider of electric vehicle charging stations and solutions, uh, both nationwide and also um, globally. Uh, we provide uh, charging services both for residential and commercial applications and have a long history um, in this space of uh, providing uh, EV charging solutions. Terrific. And you've got some news today that'll be, uh, I guess, uh, of interest to anyone who's got an EV and has ever come close to running out of juice. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely one of the concerns, I think, amongst most drivers is range anxiety and also running out of juice, you know, right before they need to uh, get where they need to to be able to charge. So we believe that this solution and this product is going to help mitigate a, a lot of those concerns. Well, tell us about the product. This is a, a portable EV charger. Yes. So it is a Blink portable charger. Um, it's something that can be placed um, on the back of a tow truck or roadside assistance vehicle um, and allows um, those providers uh, to be able to give much needed range to someone who may be stranded on the side of the road. Um, it can provide up to 9.6 kilowatts continuously, which equates to roughly a half mile to one mile of range per minute of charging. Of course, this is based on uh, you know, the limitations of what the vehicle is able to receive from the charger uh, but definitely something that can help emergency roadside assistance and towing companies uh, to be able to uh, provide uh, much needed services uh, to electric vehicle drivers on the side of the road. So let's set up a, a, a little scenario where uh, someone, uh, I guess, takes a gamble <laughs> with, with their EV and, uh, and loses here and they're stuck on the side of the road. So tell us what, what you and how you envision this coming to the rescue. Sure. So based on some feedback that we've gotten from some drivers, a lot of people run out of juice, you know, within miles of the destination that they were going to, um, to be able to receive a charge. So what this system will allow a roadside assistance or insurance or um, tow truck to be able to provide to that vehicle is within 10 to 20 minutes of charging on the side of the road, they could get up to, you know, 10 to 20 miles of range uh, to be able to get them that that last remaining distance uh, to be able to get to a, a charging station or to get home um, to be able to charge there as well. So you're work, going to be working with or are working with uh, some of the companies that provide roadside assistance. There are some big names and insurance companies and more. Definitely. Yeah, this product, we're definitely going to target uh, those markets and uh, be able to um, provide this solution uh, to them uh, to be able to provide uh, to to their clients. Well, describe for us uh, from a more little more technical uh, perspective how this is different from uh, just a, a generator that people can run and buy at Costco or something like that. <laughs> so. I wish in some ways I could make it a little more sophisticated than that, but um, you know, the, the item that's powering the charging station is, is truly that it's a high powered generator. Um, I think what makes it uh, unique is there's our next generation uh, blink product um, that is attached to this uh, gasoline power generator um, that allows energy usage to be captured and uploaded um, either in real time, uh, if it's connected to a cellular uh, network, or it can be uh, uploaded via Wi-Fi, you know, when that charging station gets back to some depot um, where there's Wi-Fi service available. Um, so that's really kind of the, the unique portion of this. It's our high powered next generation charging system um, that is used uh, to provide this service uh, to vehicles on the side of the road. So uh, an off-the-shelf generator wouldn't be able to, to handle th this kind of job, typically? Well, an off-the-shelf off generator won't have the charging station capabilities built into it. 
So the charging station itself actually contains the control systems, the safety systems, um, and everything required in order to deliver a safe um, and reliable uh, charging session to a vehicle. So that's where that module uh, comes into place for being able to charge vehicles uh, using the, the nationwide uh, standard um, SAE J1772 or the connector that's uh, compatible with all vehicles uh, nationwide. Can you give us an idea about how much these will cost? These aren't being sold to individuals or, or are they? Well, I guess it, it could be sold um, to individuals, but uh, the price point um, you know, for selling to roadside assistance companies, tow trucks, um, et cetera. Um, the MSR, MSRP that we're, we're working with right now is uh, $64.99. Um, of course, we're working to you know, fine tune and hone in on those numbers, but that's going to be um, the, the list price, uh, at least at this point. And is that in with a certain quantity of purchase, $6,500? Um, I think that the volume was where it needs to be, we could definitely, you know, work with someone who wanted to purchase a larger volume of these um, and be able to to work, you know, with, with those numbers. So this is going to allow those companies to, I guess, uh, retain some retain some customers who they might be losing uh, when, they, when they buy electric vehicles. Absolutely. And, you know, just overall, I think... Well, we know that um, vehicle OEMs want to be able to give confidence to drivers as well. And so giving them confidence that they will have the ability to get bailed out of a, uh, you know, uncomfortable situation on the side of the road where they may not have just enough juice to get them where they need to go. Uh, definitely, uh, I think, improves people's confidence in switching to a, an all electric vehicle. Yeah, and without having to be towed, so uh, yeah, they can get another 10 miles uh, with a 10, min 10 minutes of charging, typically? Uh, typically, yeah, I think it, depend it depends on what the vehicle is able to receive from the charger. The limitation is the onboard charger um, that's on the vehicle. So if a vehicle has the capability of receiving up to 9.6 kilowatts uh, continuously, then it will receive more energy um, in, a, in a shorter amount of time. If uh, the vehicle maybe has a smaller onboard charger, it won't be able to receive the energy quite as, as quickly, um, but they could still get a substantial charge in let's say 20 to 30 minutes, enough to get them where they need to go. And you've designed this, I guess, like all of your charging stations for wide, pretty much universal compatibility, sometimes adapt and adapters needed? Absolutely. So that's the beauty of the AC spec in the United States is AC charging stations are compatible with every single electric vehicle in the U.S. Um, for a vehicle, let's say like a Tesla, there is an adapter that's required, um, but most of the Tesla owners have that adapter, you know, in their vehicle glove compartment in the trunk of their car. Um, so that is kind of a, a standard that a lot of them carry with them to be able to charge at AC uh, charging stations uh, throughout the nation. Terrific. For more information, where's the best for place for people to go? Sure. So to get additional information regarding this product, uh, go to Blink Network or BlinkCharging.com and uh, be able to uh, obtain additional information there. As well, uh, people can reach out to um, our team uh, and there are prompts uh, on the website to be able to connect with our sales team. And finally, uh, what can you tell us about the, the growth of your network and what we can, what we expect to see in the months to come? Tough times right now for everybody, uh, not a lot of people on the road, but uh, give, us, give us a little bit of over, an overview of what's to come here. Sure. So with the launch of our next-gen product uh, last year, we've definitely seen a significant amount of interest in that product. Um, we're deploying uh, charging stations uh, nationwide and also uh, globally. Um, we're definitely seeing some uh, significant interest and growth related to our Generation 2 product. Um, it's the fastest AC charging system that's available on the market currently um, that is connected uh, up to 19.2 uh, kilowatts, which is able to provide a significant amount of energy uh, to vehicles um, that are, are you know, in the market now. 
So definitely seeing some very positive interest, positive reviews regarding that product um, and, uh, you know, deploying that um, definitely in a little bit of a, a, a pinch right now with, you know, some of the things that are going on regarding um, COVID. But uh, that's definitely, I don't, I don't believe long term um, is going to impact uh, things uh, significantly. But, you know, we're just subjected to uh, the, the current market conditions, uh, but definitely even seeing activity related uh, to that product um, even during this time. Terrific. The website, again, is BlinkCharging.com. Josh Winkler, thanks for taking the time with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Text to Nation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. Listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Crane at textination.com and put in the code TEXTANATION for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Crane.